so I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse and I want to do just a straight couple runs show you guys real quick I've got nearly everything out of the uh, wood bunker of course all the freaking snow on the conveyors in here now but you can see nothing here right back to the back wall but uh, I meant to do that last time that we did this but I'll put you guys on time lapse so you guys can see uh, the wood is just coming down Okay, so that was one full log deck stack single uh yeah single layer no double layers at all i will tell you i really hope i'm getting out of this mud i remember that last day i run it it was extremely muddy in here and uh i don't know if this is going to show up all that much but that right there is also one chain that is the uh, most incredible part about this whole machine to me uh, it does split beautiful it runs great it's expensive uh, but it's also 2024 now <laughs> with uh, yeah whatever kind of leadership you want to call it all right so battery number six and what I'm doing I've got a little uh, pocket charger in here and I'm keeping it on my body. As soon as I go from time lapse to uh, video, it uh, it dies. When you keep it on video or uh, time lapse, it's fine. And I told you guys it was one ish, we'll call it. So that could be 10 minutes before, 10 minutes after. I wasn't completely. So I'm going to say around 45 minutes or so i just screwed around with the battery and whatnot but uh like i said dirty wood uh last three trees the blade's been gone on uh this is the crap that comes off the conveyor i unloaded that three or four times i got one of them uh, horse pans the horse feed troughs or whatever it is underneath there all the crap goes in there this stuff right here is what's been killing me this gets in between the uh the roller and it gets it all screwed up
All right, guys, that is two full decks. And that was, let me just check real quick. I don't remember what time we had. We were at three o'clock. So that's, we'll say two hours run. Oh, well, the first time was like 40 minutes or so, but we'll just call it two. And then half hour with the tractor. Uh, that's the longest part of it. Honestly, dealing with these 16 footers. Um, I'll show you guys the, uh, show you guys the waste. This right here is all sawdust. This pile, I gotta get my tractor back here. Uh, unfortunately, I pushed everything up to it, so I've gotta get burning too. Um, I wanna get some of these popples out of here. But there's my waste oil. And that's what I'm running in it. using has a filter on it and you can see it's, it's running just as much as it wants to so shut the conveyor off these lines out free nice and warm and then I've got my collection of kindling I'm gonna start bagging up that stuff at some point get this thing topped back off of fuel really quickly Let's see if we can I don't know how much of this footage I'm gonna use so I'm just gonna record it all with the uh, the GoPro battery doesn't die when I want to wrap it up and we don't have much so I did uh, have to stop about every cord maybe uh, a cord and a third is about what I'm getting out of this thing for fuel. Seems hard on fuel, but it's it's got a lot of things going on. You figure this thing is running just about as long as my uh, my old uh, log splitter at home. And I'm gonna say that burns probably a tank of fuel every face cord in half but that's just it's a lot slower not so much I don't I don't think it has such a big tank either um, what's this chain yeah she can use chain okay so I'm gonna kind of show you guys what I do to wrap up the day here like i said it's only a little bit of run time today most of the day was plowing and snow blowing and getting that all fixed but i've got to get another little keeper for this guy i got some mechanics wire i can throw at it uh, another trick for you guys that have these and have problems um with the live deck feeding wise and whatnot this has been awesome i'm gonna get a junkier back this is my wedge pounder but uh if you put this underneath the log and you give it a little bit of a shake on a big you know 14 16 inch log i also did it right here you can probably see the wear yeah you can kind of see the scrapes here i put my uh axe right in here when it's up again when the wood is up against the uh the jaws here and you don't have much room for uh in between the chain and the jaws i put my axe right here and uh, i'm able to wiggle it with this hand and activate the feed on the live deck and uh, i've i've been able to get some of them that's just kind of something new that i just learned so a couple of struggle logs today that's for sure but the bigger ones are the bigger ones I think the best size is probably around 12 inch. She seems to uh, really like it. Um, I want to know too, this uh, 
six way seems like i'm always getting huge pieces on this uh far corner this side i never really have to resplit, but this side i'm always getting big pieces i'm just kind of interested to know if you guys have the same deal if yours is pretty uniform but uh just about especially when i get into a rhythm and they're not horrible i mean they're they're good all night burners so it looks like she's got a little bit of punk on her actually ah uh, really like i said make sure we're this guy here that i would do generally like to be in half and that would give you a chunk like this you know pretty decent um same thing with that guy that guy as well there's like i said it's, it's generally when i'm in a rhythm and i'm just feeding the wood i don't uh look at what's going up the conveyor and then i see it when it gets to the top and i'm like crap <laughs> so interested to know what you guys uh have found with that if you guys have the same deal or if it's just favoring one side more than the other but this is my best friend this pan right here of course i let it go a little too long just give me a second be nice to have a uh, little conveyor on the ground or even like the uh, twin auger roll that sucker underneath there and just keep keep separating same thing with the uh the chips that's a whole nother issue um and that's what i took out of this corner this morning that i wanted to bring over to the woods but unfortunately the uh 14 inches of snow didn't allow that to happen so but nonetheless guys i let her run a little bit longer uh let me know what you guys think of the uh uh the time lapsing i don't want to burn people out on time lapse i like it especially watching the money fall off the conveyor that's my side if you guys like watching more of the process uh say two three minutes of watching live content and then getting into the uh time lapse uh per station type of deal i can do that um but i'm just going to keep feeding the uh, content out as i get it uh because i really haven't had all that much time on the machine she's at let's see 23.8 hours but like i said at least the first eight 10 hours or even like today i had the thing running for probably a half hour 45 minutes just getting the chains all set letting it run and warm up so a lot of a lot of idle time i need to cut back on that a little bit but we'll get it as we learn either way guys god bless y'all thank you for watching we'll see you next time